And tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. Fast food this time of night. I don't know who we blooming think we are. This is what Saudi feels like to me. There it is. In all its glory. Everyone in our bakes already waving. They're having their oh, hello. chicken. <laughs> <And> oh, <it's> hi. <laughs> Everybody's waving at us at our bed. I have no idea what we're getting. So far, I can only see chicken meals. My arm is about to fall off. Good evening from Jeddah. Saudi Arabia. It is late. It is nearly 10 o'clock and tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. We have been told by absolutely everyone that we've met on the street and everyone that works in our hotel that you cannot come to Jeddah without trying our bake. Our bake is the most famous Saudi fast food that started in 1974. So it is almost, does that make it 50? Something like that. It is almost 50 years old. We have actually had like a chicken burger from there the other day but we've been told we need to go there and pretty much try the whole menu this isn't the sort of video we'd normally do but we've just checked online it's still open because everything in Saudi for some reason stays open until like three in the morning we have found an Al Bake the Saudi KFC about a 10-15 minute walk from the hotel so tonight's dinner tonight's video today's video it's gonna be us eating and talking about Saudi fast food, let's do it. How are we walking out at 9.39 p.m. to go and get dinner? I think I'm still adjusting to this like eating late thing in Saudi because people go out and have their dinner at like 10, 11, midnight. And for We're me, that's so food. late. Fast food at this time of night. I don't know who we blooming think we are. Some sort of food vlogger heading out at nearly 10 o'clock at night to eat some Saudi fast food. To be fair, I think it's pretty unique the fact that Saudi has got this fast food that's been going on for almost 50 years. And until a couple of days ago, I had not even heard of it. And I must be honest, from the chicken sandwich, it's pretty impressive. KFC has uh, got some competition. So apparently, Beck means to pick, choose or select in Arabic. So essentially the whole purpose of going to Al Bek is to pick and choose and select some of the best things off the menu, which is what we're gonna do. And this really is the side of Saudi you don't see. The normal residential areas, probably where a lot of the foreign workers live. Not as fancy as the ultra modern malls or skyscrapers that you see, but this is predominantly the the reality of Saudi Arabia it's not all sheikhs and billionaires this is what Saudi feels like to me it feels like different fancy compounds yeah and then in between there is sort of nothing kind of like nothing but more like residential areas and then you have like a bit of nothing again it's kind of like a big mix there it is in all its glory just a 15 minute walk from our hotel is Al Bek there's actually loads of stores I think there's like over 90 um, but they, some of them are smaller, some of them don't have dining options. So Do you know what it reminds me is. of? What? Los Polos, Breaking Bad. It's got, like, it's got the chicken man at the front with a little hat on. Yeah, with his hat, he like lifts his hat off. Oh, let's try some Albeck. Everyone in Albeck's already waving. They're having their oh, hello. chicken. <laughs> <And> oh, <it's> hi! <laughs> Everybody's waving at us at Albeck. It's busy. Let's do this. I've actually just noticed that you can order on the screen, which makes life so much easier for two indecisive people who do not know what to get from the famous Al Bek. Let's do it, Al Bek. I'm excited. How are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you, my friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. How are you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> So the Pizza Hut worker has come <laughs> to our bakes. That's how you know it's good. I have no idea what we're getting. So far, I can only see chicken meals and ice cream and corn in a cup. I mean... I asked for the menu and he was like, look at the board. And there's no board. It's just chicken meals and everything's in Arabic. We'll, we'll sort it out, I'm sure. Hi. Hello. Can I have two chicken wraps, please? That's one more. Please. Um, we basically want to try a little bit of everything. Yeah, we want to try a bit of everything. So maybe uh, the barbecue thai burger. Thai burger. 
uh, one of those. And then we have the chicken fillet nugget meal, seven. seven the nuggets, yeah? Yep. Um, regular for those. That comes with bun and fries. And come forward. And what else? That's one burger, falafel. chicken nuggets. Do you have falafel? Yeah, we have four. What, what, what do you get? Like four or three or, or like, how many? The wrap. Yeah. This is. Pieces? Okay, how many? This is your thing. Five or ten. Whatever, just Whatever. go for it. Whatever is best. Spicy. Spicy. Uh, is that enough or do we need a drink? Some drinks and some chips. And I've got chips, oh, I perfect. think. And two drinks. Please. That was stressful. We have ordered seven pieces of nuggets, some falafel nuggets, three SP sandwich, <laughs> TH barbecue sauce burger, two Pepsis, and it comes to 51 real, so like 11, 12 pounds. And really, I have no idea what we're about to get. It was, it was incredibly stressful. I actually specifically picked this one because it had like a really lovely upstairs like seating area, but we got told that like you can't eat upstairs. So now I think we're gonna have to take it back to the hotel. Oh my God, is this all us? This us? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is a lot. We've ordered a bit too much. Thank you. Shukran. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. This is Thai burger. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My arm is about to fall off. I think we look absolutely crazy. Look at this. There is so much food. Eight bags. Um, actually, we aren't allowed to sit upstairs because there is two areas like for men and for women, so we can't sit together. So that's why we have to take it to the hotel. I feel like this might now taste really bad after a 20 minute walk. No one likes soggy, soggy chicken. I mean, we could have sat on opposite sides, um, but I didn't realize that that was the case in fast food places that we can't sit together. I believe there are some where you can probably sit with each other, I don't know. Some are families, some are men only, some are women only. It might have just been that branch. Maybe it was just that branch, but now we've got to run back before the goods get cold. My gosh. This is ridiculous. 20 minutes there and back, all for some soggy the chicken. It's going to be soggy now. Oh, bake. Don't say that. I'm praying it's not. And I don't even remember what is. Look, we have. What how bag. many bags do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven bags. Would and you some like to. have more in. Unbox, unbag. Okay, so we have three mini. I think these are the chicken SPs. We have. A bun. Did you order a bun? No, I think it comes with your meal. A bun? A bun. Let me see. Okay, we've got an empty, empty bun. Um, chicken nuggets and chips. Oh my God, Matt, this is gonna take a while. Bun number two. We have chicken breast, strips and chips. This is ridiculous. I don't know why we decided to order this much, but we did. And I love, as Matt said, you've got the chicken with his hat and it says Saudi made. Like every Habib tea out there. What? <laughs> Cute. Hmm? Like Saudi a... made? <laughs> I didn't get it. I thought you were talking about the chicken. Anyway, ignore Matt's jokes. I'm going to actually, I went for something a bit different. I wanted to try the corn in a cup because I feel like it's like copying KFC's Sweet corn, you know, because you so can get what? KFC. Corn in a cup. Yeah, corn in a cup. Let's have a look. It's just, yeah, it's just sweet corn. How can you judge sweet corn? Mm. Yeah, it's just sweet corn. And then I'm gonna try the spicy falafel. Like, who even knew you could get spicy falafel? They look kind of weird, don't you think? Look at that. Why is it like green? They good? Mm. This is taking 
taking some time because they are really spicy. So you can't <clears throat> you can't really taste. I've got to share a room with you. Oh my god, they're really spicy, and you can't really taste the falafel. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself. It is five minutes, four minutes to eleven at night, and I'm talking about. <laughs> We're on Saudi time. Talking at about Saudi Arabian fast food. I'm going to try the. We've got chicken strips and they're chicken nuggets that look more like rectangles. Chicken also, rectangles. They give you so many of these sauces. Like this is tahina, we've got spicy. These You're eating good. them plain. Oh, yeah, good. Let me go with the. Tahina? Got, yeah, let's do some tahina. Let's do it. We've got garlic. They're not bad, you know. They're. um... It's very affordable for what you get, I all think. All of this was like. Oh, that's horrible. You don't... <laughs> Tahina and chicken does not go together. Oh, no. What have I did? We got... Wow. Garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. We have got more garlic sauce. I'm not going with the sauces. These are the chicken strips. I feel like they'd be better than them. And all of this was £15 around £15, pound, I think. And we got too much. They're much better. These are like... Are they too hard? They're a bit like soggy rectangles. <laughs> These are just like KFC... Mmm, chicken strips. So I think you're meant to put the chicken in a bun. So I do it? Yeah. You're ready. Right, so you get your bun. I don't but think you are. You didn't get any bun. Well, what else is the bun for? This is literally in the packaging. It's not even... No not way. Even being cut. No way. It's just a... Oh, I don't think this will be good. Right, this is going to be disgusting. <laughs> Two of these. I reckon this is how you do it. In your bun. Oh, it's gonna be dry. Hold on. Oh, I'm not gonna put tahina on it. Ketchup? Is that ketchup? Yeah. Really like garlic ketchup. sauce? Is that ketchup as well? I'm blind. Right, garlic sauce. That one's garlic sauce. Oh, this is not gonna I'm be definitely good. sure. Like, they've given us two buns and we've got a couple of chicken meals, oh. so I think this is what What has my for? life come to? What way? <laughs> What has my life come to? <laughs> Trying to put sauce on sauce your chicken nuggets. Sauce on a nugget. dry bun at 11 o'clock in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Cheers. Is that better? It's not bad. I mean, it's just like making your own burger. Right. What are we doing? And what have we done? What have we become? What is this, anyway? Can what have you we become? Like, Food vloggers. Food, fast food, food vloggers. This is the chicken spicy one, I think. And we actually found out this is not ketchup, this is nugget sauce. So, I'm dipping it in nugget sauce. Double dipping. This is, it's literally just this bread and one chicken, like breast inside. A spicy chicken breast. I mean, it's okay. I feel like it could have done with some cheese or something. They didn't even ask if we wanted anything inside it. Look. We're getting somewhere. I think we are finally achieving. <sighs> it's too late to be it's too late much. for this. Um, I don't know. There's a lot left. I've got some soggy homemade burgers. My favourite is actually the wrap so far. This is very good with the gherkins, the chips. But this is the barbecue thigh I think this was a special I think this is a special the chicken <laughs> okay oh my god are you nervous not really I'm, I'm eating yeah I'm petrified of eating a burger terrified um ooh. oh okay. my god it's huge okay this could be the bad boy look at that I think I've saved the best oh to the oh, last, we've got some gherkins, some chicken thigh, and just loads of cheese. And a different bun. That's good. That's the best. Barbecuey, cheesy, gherkiny. I don't know how you explain food, but this is really good. Like, so far, I said the wrap was best. Maybe that's seven, eight out of ten. This is a solid nine. If you're going there, oh. You'll be getting that every time. That was definitely not our normal sort of video, and I would definitely not want to be that toilet in the morning. We have just eaten seven bags of the Saudi equivalent to KFC at 10 minutes to midnight. Seriously, get me to bed, but we had to do this. We were told by literally every Saudi 
that we met that we have to eat our bake at least once. I feel like we've eaten enough for the entire trip now. And it actually, it's pretty solid. The barbecue thigh burger was definitely the best. And considering the price, it's so affordable. It's cheaper than KFC out here. It's cheaper than McDonald's. I think it's probably the cheapest fast food in general. And it's, I don't know, KFC, Albeck, they're pretty much on a par. I'm getting to bed, like, seriously. Oh my gosh, we are a little bit crazy. Yeah, a very different video. Um, probably won't do one like this again, but we've got so much more to see and do once I get all of this food out of me in Saudi Arabia, from Riyadh to Alula to Medina and so much more. But we still have a few more things that we want to see in Jeddah before leaving the city as we're enjoying it so much. So we'll see you in the next one. Back to a normal video with no more Albeck. <laughs>